Uh, what is up, gamers? We are here with a YCL battle. That's right. You thought we had left the YCL, but we're back. We're a replacement coach. Uh, we're taking over a team. Uh, they were one in five, so we have no shot at playoffs. But there were only three weeks left, and they were needing a replacement coach. So, of course, I stepped in because uh, we love the YCL, and uh, I'm always happy to help out. And uh, funnily enough, we're playing Wreck-It Mike, coach of the Virginia Victinis, which I believe was the first coach we played when we were a replacement coach in the L.E.T. as well. So that's fun. Uh, he's got a cool team. Uh, Dragon Bolt's always scary. I picked up Wigglytuff, but I didn't bring it. But uh, I figured he might be scared of that. He didn't bring a Cinderace. Good to know. He didn't bring Mudsdale, which is also really nice for us because it gives him even less switch-ins to stuff like our Entei, which uh, I'm very much tempted to lead. I think Primarina could be a lead is the only reason I wouldn't want to do that. But we do have a safe switch-in with the Slow King, so I think it's okay. Uh, he does have lots of scary offensive Pokemon, but if we can fire off things like Sacred Fi like Banded Sacred Fires, then that's really, really good for us. Um, yeah, Slowbro's kind of scary. I didn't prep for it a whole lot, but hopefully our Slow King can deal with it pretty well. We also have this Scrap Thief, which is very bulky. Like, I'm scared of like a Quick Claw, Quick Draw, Ice Beam into our Zygarde, that type of stuff. But yeah. Good luck to Mike. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. We've both got some fun teams to play with. Uh, we're also very scared of the normal moves coming from the Obstagoon because, of course, that thing's terrifying. Uh, hopefully he leads Ferrothorn. That's ideal situation for us. Because it means we get an entirely free Sacred Fire. Something like the Globe Road would be okay as well. Uh, even Obstagoon would be okay, I think. Yeah, we are faster than this. I'm max speed, and uh, I don't think this thing wants to take a Sacred Fire, if I'm being honest with you. He could obstruct, of course, but I don't think I mind that. Uh, I'm just going to fire this off. I am jolly, right? Yeah, we're max speed, so we do outspeed this. Unless it's Scarf, of course. Wonder how much this does. Uh, it's easily a two-hit KO. So I'll, I'll say that. Oh, he's scarf. Okay, good to know. <laughs> this is still, you know, essentially a neutral sacred fire. So like, Prim's not gonna love taking it. We also know his item now, which is also very nice. I feel like you're still not going to enjoy this. Yeah, that's good chip. No burn, that's fine. He's not leftovers, which is also really nice. I'm happy about that. Uh, this thing could also be choice, that's my guess. Uh, we have the teleport encore with the... Togekiss because I'm always scared of subcall mindsets. This thing could be like a rest set that's like bulky specifically for Entei. That wouldn't shock me. But uh, if we aren't at minus one, then we're doing a ton of damage to it. It could flip turn, of course. Yep, there it is. Uh, I guess Obstacoon probably comes in here. Uh, knowing that this thing... It, he could also go Zapdos. Knowing that the Prim probably not the setup set. I'm honestly not scared to stand. Okay, he goes into Zapdos. I'm teleporting. I could even Toxic here if I wanted to. I think I'd rather teleport. Uh, although getting this thing Toxic would be really nice. Uh, it just depends on if he Volt Switches. If he Volt Switches, then I think he goes into Ferrothorn. And I'd rather teleport on that. Scald is a nice middle ground as well. Um, I think I'll just teleport. Um, yeah, we'll teleport. Yeah, there's the toxic. That's not a huge deal. 
We could have traded Toxics, but I don't think it's the worst case scenario. Because we don't really need this thing. And I'm tempted to go Zygarde and try and set up. I could also go Entei. Because getting big damage off on that thing would be huge. Uh, I imagine this thing lives a Ice Beam, so I won't do that. And I'd rather save my uh, Chesto Berry for now. So I'm just going to fire up another Sacred Fire. We could be speed time, but I have a feeling he's going to be bulkier just because he has a Toxic set. Ooh, we could Stone Edge. I forgot I had that move. He didn't bring his ground type, so Stone Edge looks really, really nice. Uh, I should probably check to see if it kills. It did not. Okay, we'll just Sacred Fire. Um, maybe if you zero bulk. Uh, it has a chance to kill, but yeah, it's not worth it. Goon comes in. Okay. Uh, we don't outspeed because he has Scarfed. That's important. But, uh, honestly? I'm cool with staying in. He shouldn't be able to kill us. He's a Scarf Optigoon. We're just going to use this Entei as a Breaker. There's the knockoff. That's okay. It's not ideal, but like we didn't have a switch in outside of like Scrafty, which I'd rather not lose the item on that thing. Because I like the chop hole. Actually, the chop yeah, the chop still nice for Ferrothorn. Maybe I could have gone into it, but I didn't want to get parting shot. But it is very nice to get the goon out of the way. He could go Prim here. He could also go Dragapult. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go Scrafty. Uh, I like that better here. Uh, I'd rather keep Togekiss around. Although Scrafty is actually more useful here. I think Togekiss is the play. If he's sub, we can click like Encore. Yeah, I'd rather keep Scrafty around. And if he clicks U-turn, I think that's fine. U-turn, yep. Uh, he either goes into Slowbro or Zapdos here. I'd rather he go Zapdos, but I think Slowbro makes more sense. Because I don't have a great switch into it, outside of, like, Scrafty. Which I'll probably go Scrafty on it. Um... We're a max Fizz Def Scrafty, so depending on what type of Slowbro he is. Alright, there's the Slowbro. Yeah, I'm just going to go Scrafty. I think that's our best bet. Oh, we have a Chopple in case he's like Focus Blast. Iron Defense, that's scary, but we have an Inteleon, so we should be able to crit our way through this if it starts, like, Calm Minding as well. Um, I'm scared of, like, a Weakness Policy, but, like, worst case scenario, we should just trade this for the Inteleon. We may have to bank on a 50% crit from the Inteleon, but uh, hopefully that's not the case. There's the Weakness Policy, yeah... That's scary, because if he activates the, you know, the, whatever it's called. Uh, I'm going to go Togekiss, because we can Encore it if it doesn't attack, and if it does attack, we can go until on. Worst case scenario is if he Calm Minds and then gets a quick draw into our Togekiss. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, there's the side shell arm. Unfortunate. But again, like, he didn't boost his spadef, so, like, we should be able to just snipe shot it. Would I have preferred to not lose my Togekiss? Yeah. But I think it's okay. We're just going to snipe shot. Ryan always gets the crit, so uh, I'm banking on his luck. He also hasn't boosted his... Oh, yeah, he's weak as well, so never mind, he has. Maybe it would have been smarter to play around the weakness policy better, but, like, I don't, I don't know if it's worth it. All right, come on, Inteleon. Perfect. Thanks, Ryan. That was scary. Uh, we don't have a Togekiss anymore. Uh, but the Scrafty is still around for the Dragapult. Fairthorn might come in. Okay, that's fine. I'm not as worried about this thing as the Fairthorn getting hazards up, honestly. Uh, we'll just go straight into it. Our Zygarde's getting into a scary position for him, but the Ferrothorn should still stop us enough. Okay, there's a Dragon Darts. Uh, is this thing banded? Ooh, that's scary. Very scary. Uh, do we lose to this thing? Uh, maybe we should have brought the Wigglytuff. <laughs> uh, we'll click knockoff, but I think we might just lose to this. Ooh, that was a mistake on my part. Well... Maybe Inteleon lives one. Yeah, that was just bad on my part to, to throw away the Togekiss like that. But I also didn't think it'd be banded against uh, our team, but, you know, that, that's fair. I think we have to try and leave a hit with Inteleon. Uh, let me calc it. Uh, yeah, Dragon Earth kills us. Okay. Um, we'll go into this, I guess. Uh, I think we just lose to this thing. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because we do not have Ice Beam or anything like that. We have to just go for a Toxic. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I'm really surprised that they brought Bandit against Wigglytuff, Togekiss, Scrafty. Okay. Now we have a chance if we can get a Dragon Dance that was Zygarde. Rule number one, do not let Dragapult get in. Problem. Uh, if they flip turn, <laughs> Dragapult is allowed to come in. And then he will figure out that we cannot kill the Dragapult. Maybe we're Thunder Wave. That would have been smart. There's the flip turn. I feel like he doesn't go Dragapult against the Slow King.
Okay, perfect. We're going to try and go for game with our uh, Zygarde. What? Are you kidding me? Why? Why does the game do this? Uh, all right. Well, uh, I'll see you back here for the rest of the battle. Welcome back, gamers. Uh, yeah, we were able to recreate it. It took us a couple tries. Uh, the only differences are Entei took a little bit more because we accidentally burnt what well, we burned the obstacle with Sacred Fire and it was Guts. So that thing took more damage and we missed our Toxic on the Primarina. So that thing's not Toxic. But I feel like it's not going to be a big difference because this game is going to come down to whether we win the Zygarde or not. Because it's our only shot here. And uh, yeah, that's that's just what we got to do. So we're going to go into it and uh, hopefully Zygarde can pull it out. I think it's got the potential. Uh, it's going to have to get pretty lucky, I think. Because, uh, well, Hurricane and everything, and like, we need to, we have to Dragon Dance once. So we outspeed the Dragapult. And then we're going to start going for coils and get as boosted up as possible. There's the Toxic. Would have been nice if he missed it, just so that we would have had an extra turn. We do have the, 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 the rest. The problem is, oh no, we are faster now. Okay. That's important, because we can actually rest when we need to. Uh, hopefully he, like, U-turns into the Ferrothorn. I think that'd be ideal. Because the other wind kind is we put it in range of an Ice Shard, of the, the Dragapult and the Ice Okay, yeah, there's the Ferrothorn. So we just coil up as much as possible before we have to rest. Hopefully he's not iron defense on this thing as well. Because uh, that'd be painful for us. But if not, we just keep coiling. Don't show me iron defense. Don't show me iron defense. You don't bring that against uh, Entei. Okay, curse. Uh, I think that could be worse. Not really sure. <laughs> the problem is we may be forced to rest a second time and then we're in a predicament. Uh, we should be able to coil one more time before we have to rest. But uh, this game is probably going to come down to who wins this 1v1. <laughs> And he doesn't have to full-on win it. He just has to win it enough. Oh, that's not good. Because now if he switches out, we're in a predicament. And we're going to be asleep. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Because, yeah, now we have two turns of sleep. And he can just go and drag a pull and win. If we'd rested that turn, we might have been in an okay position. But uh, now, not so much. Yeah, there. good play, good play. Yeah. No shot we live to move us. Because we're quite fast and everything. But I don't think we have any other choice. I don't think this thing being toxic matters either. Yeah, I just didn't expect him to have the knockoff, I'm gonna be honest with you. It just I didn't feel like it was likely against my team. Oh Jesus. That thing's specs and a half. Um, it doesn't really matter. We'll just have to try and toxic it again, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this game is essentially over now. He'd have to like super choke. We actually hit this time, which is nice. Uh, we know how much Sacred Fire does because we don't have our band anymore, but we're also not minus one. Just something to keep in mind.
Yeah, they just make the Hulk play. Fair enough. <laughs> they could have done that at any point, honestly. Uh, we have to hope they're not offensive towards Ben, <laughs> which isn't the case. We already know that. Uh, no shot. Are you sure kills either? Yeah, this game's over. Uh, unfortunate that we had to recreate all that. I figured that there was, you know, this was going to happen after the recreation. We had to spend three tries making the recreation into what would essentially be like two turns remaining on the battle. But uh, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, maybe he like clicks. No, he's banded. Yeah. Uh, no shot ice shard kills. So I think we just have to ice beam and hope that he's scared that we're like scarf. Okay, he was scared of the scarf. That's nice. Can we crit this thing? Nope. Freeze? No. Okay. Uh, we're just going to go on Entei. <laughs> I don't know why we're so uh, pressed for differential and everything, because we're not making playoffs regardless, so differential doesn't matter. But, you know, I want to try and make it close. I'm so surprised he brought Curse Leftovers against an Entei. Yeah, he makes the double. Good play. But again, he doesn't need to be making all these plays. Like, he's got the game locked down already. Uh, does Stone Age do more? Uh, maybe a Stone Age crit would. Uh, yeah, I'll click Stone Edge. It'll put it in until the end range. We're not killing the Ferrothorn if this thing goes down, but there's a chance that he, like, flip turns out or something. I don't know. Maybe he doubles into Dragapult and we kill it. I don't know. <laughs> he has no reason to do that. He would just flip turn. We hit. We don't crit. Moon Blast. Okay. Uh, we probably still die to this because we took the extra damage from Knockoff. Yep, <laughs> so it did end up mattering. That's unfortunate. But hey, we'll at least bring down the dip a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> We're just going to ice beam. We do get the kill. <laughs> a little bit worrying. Uh, the one thing is he might not think that we're scope lens because we only crit him in one of the... In the original, we didn't crit him in either of the recreations. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go into Slow King because if we live a power up or something like that, we can flamethrower. And we might as well. Also, we know he has... Curse and knock off. There's the power of dodge. Nice. Now go Dragapult and get burned. <laughs> we are not offensive, so Flamethrower shouldn't even get close to killing this thing, but it might put it in range of like a Ice Beam. He could go Zapdos, of course. But then we can teleport out into. Oh, get burned, get burned, get burned, get burned, get burned, get burned, get punished, get punished, get punished, get punished, get punished. Come on, Slow King. Revenge. Dang it. <laughs> we had to try. Uh, we'll teleport. There's a non-zero chance we die to a dragon darts, though. <laughs> Maybe he'll get steel wing on accident. Maybe he'll misclick. <laughs> like, I, and I run. Oh, Phantom Force. Okay. That's the same power. That might be stronger than Dragon Darts, actually. Fan 
dumb foot. Oh, we still don't live it, just barely. But we have to try. Yeah, this is our only shot, is if we somehow live this. Uh, unfortunately, Phantom Force does 106% minimal, I believe. Uh, we have slight amount of bulk, but it's not nearly enough. I think we have 40 HP. So, unfortunately, we will go down. Hmm, what's our play here? I think... Yeah, because an ice shard's not going to kill it. Uh, we'll just ice beam. I don't think we can get any more differential regardless. Yeah, good stuff. Maybe if we still had the Entail live, we'd have a chance because we'd be able to ice shard it. But uh, I don't think so because he'd be able to switch out and everything. But yeah, good game to Mike. Uh, <laughs> we tried our best. Uh, the knockoff was very unfortunate. I'm just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. They brought uh, Curse, Ferrothorn against an Entei. That just, you know, that's weird to me. Oh, maybe I should have scalded. I forgot that I had scalded. I feel like that's not play against a Ferrothorn, though. But yeah, that'll be our first game as a replacement coach in the YCL. Uh, I think technically if we'd won like 6-0 all three of our games and everyone else lost all their games 6-0, we would have had it technical chance, but I don't think there was any chance that we could ever make playoffs. But, uh, yeah, I still enjoy this team. It's a, it's a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully the next two games will go a little bit better, but uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter to us, because uh, we're just here to have a good time and represent the YCL. But, uh, good game to Mike. Uh, I think he's undefeated on the season, so uh, that's cool. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys here for the, for the next two games of the, of the season. So, uh, bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.